So I was recently looking through the personal story section at bachelorsrobe.com. Came across a document called Ryan, R-Y-A-N. And um, I like to skim through these stories once in a while because, who knows, stuff that's happening today might have some relationship to stuff back then. And I don't know, this might be something, but I found it very curious. And I'll explain more as I get through with his story. Okay, so Ryan, he actually posted this. I don't remember how far back it goes, but the story's supposed to date to July of 2001. Uh, you gave it to a website called mysticalblaze.com. Not sure if it's the same today as it was before. I'm going to skip down. If you want to read all this, go find the document. Um, I'm just going to jump to his story in particular. Um, you know, he has... How do we um, tell sometimes, you know, imagination between that and something that maybe is happening to you physically in the environment, and maybe you have even a bystander who's feeling some of it or can vouch for it. Um, are those physical effects reality was it psychosomatic when you tell your friend hey something's going on and then they're like hey yeah, i feel it too or is there something to it um this one's a little extreme i think the guy's probably going through something i don't know about his thoughts on other things i'm gonna read this as it was typed apparently when he sent it to this website he says below is an unedited true story of a visit or the owner of that website anyway is relaying Ryan's story as an unedited true story so this is how Ryan had written it I'm going to skip down again to the uh, to the actual event so it says as soon as I got to the spot you see me standing in the picture I stopped and turned my flashlight off and that's when it happened nearly immediately I began to feel a very strong tingling entering through the top of my head it was moving kind of fast, about an inch a second, I want to say, and seemed to be taking the path of nerve bundles through my body. It was moving down my neck and down through my spine. After not too long, it felt like it was in my whole body. Needless to say, I was extremely scared at this point, but I do believe it was my willingness to be open that allowed it to continue. I stayed my ground and yelled for my friends, something like, Hey, hey, come here. Something's happening to me. Help. It was at this point that my friend began to try and take a picture. He later told me that his camera had initially jammed for a good minute or so. A few of my friends who heard me came by and stood around me. My ghost hunter friend was saying that he was feeling it too. All of a sudden, things got even weirder. I was looking at my one friend when it seemed like, or seemed that, for lack of a better way to explain it, my visual perspective was changing without my permission and without me moving anywhere. As I looked at my one friend, it was as if there were two cameras set up next to each other about three or four feet apart, both looking at the same thing. And someone was like toggling between the two cameras. My vision was instantly flickering, camera A, then camera B, back and forth a few times. This was too much for me. It felt like I was going to lose control of myself, so I walked away from the spot, well out of the way. Then, slowly feeling, slowly the feeling started to go out of me until I was back to normal. Weak in the knees for a while though, I might add. It was amazing. The feeling was so strong, it was tingling like electricity was flowing through my body. As this was happening to me, my friend said I looked pale and completely in shock, which I definitely was. Nothing I have experienced at any other point in my life could even compare to this feeling. I have no way of explaining it at all. At all. And then um, talks about the guy's website and then talks about the photos and stuff like that, that they took. So in the photos, though, um, you can actually uh, gauge where he's at even in the darkness. Um, so I'm going to pop up a picture. It's funny that this actual spot is the same spot that I call the Wonder Spot. It's just a nickname. It's, it's um, a natural magnetic anomaly in the cemetery. Generally 40, 50 feet in circumference. It'll stretch around. It seems to be like in a teardrop shape uh, facing north. And uh, Now, if you've watched a previous video before on the, the so-called Wonder Spot, um, you know, I put some people to a test. 
and you can actually physically feel this magnetic field. Um, apparently not everybody can do it, uh, but a lot of the people I picked in the beginning could feel it, and some would stand right on the epicenter. Now, you don't need to stand in the, on top of the epicenter to feel it, but people sometimes feel disoriented, uh, electrical buzzing on one side or the other, other bodies, things like that. Um, however, I, I don't think that this is a coincidence. I could be wrong. You know, him walking into that zone and feeling it and then having a friend saying they're feeling something, um, maybe this had some effect on him. I mean, maybe you got some other thoughts. You know, it was just spirit and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, from a basic approach, you know, people are feeling this. They're having different reactions to it. At least that's what they're describing. Is this another case? I mean, he just happens to be walking right into that epicenter area. Uh, I think maybe he was only five feet from that. Um, anyway, I'm popping up pictures, obviously, with this. So you can gauge the area, the idea, what's going on. Um, it is an old story, but you know, I've been through things outside this place where you get this buzzing effect. I, you know, especially coming off the top of the head, super strong, and uh, it, it's kind of a funny story. Um, maybe, maybe I should tell it. It's kind of weird. It's not grow related, but this is just an example to how you know it's just weird. But there's that that backstory to it. So here I am. I'm under 21. I'm in Las Vegas with a girlfriend, I'm visiting a friend as well. He's got his girlfriend. And, uh, of course, our girlfriends are 21. We were just short of it. And, but, you know, if they go off and gamble, that's fine. You know, they get to keep their winnings, especially if it's a jackpot or something. Uh, and the guys, me and this other guy, we walk off, and we're at something called the stratosphere. And what's fun is that we were walking around constantly, and I was getting this buzz and, and this tingling. And every time I would get that, I would just put um, a quarter in the machine, back when you can use actual real money. And so, and I would win. And this was happening again and again and again. I was just never losing. And I I felt like the rule was, you know, once I won, just walk away. And uh, his girlfriend was getting pissed off because she was losing all her money. And that's why we all kind of split up at some point. So here at the Stratosphere, I go by this one machine. And I tell my buddy, oh my God, I don't know what this is, but my head is buzzing. It feels almost like it's on fire. It's just like this electricity coming off the top of my head. And he's getting all excited. He, you know, it's a dollar machine. I'm like, hey, well, I've been playing these quarter machines. I don't want to, you know, lose money. He's like, well, you haven't been losing. Come on. I'm like, yeah, I guess. And I put a dollar in. And he goes, hey, well, put two in. Max it out. This particular machine, instead of three dollars, it maxed out at two. I'm like, no, I ain't doing that stuff. And just, just, you know, it's my stupid little rule or something. So I put the dollar in, and you spin it. It's a slot machine. And then he's he's freaking out, and I realize. Oh my God. And I'm kind of freaking out. And we're looking around for the girlfriends because we had just won the mother of all mother jackpots on this machine. And we're not of age. But then we realized the machine's not going off. What the hell? We won. And he looks at it and he, and he hits me. He goes, you idiot. You're supposed to put the max in, the $2 to win this. Now... I never would have been able to keep the money. Obviously, security cameras would have saw that somebody underage, they would have checked my ID, um, you know, and they would have kept it. And we've been kicked out or who knows what else. But I, I think it's an awesome story. Um, just a little tidbit of the, of the Vegas stuff. But, you know, you're feeling this buzz, right? And people talk about chakras and, and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't know, man. It was just a really weird kind of thing. Um, it's not the only time it's happened, but the idea you walk up to the machine and you're feeling this buzz and this one's like on fire instead of just a little tingle where you're winning maybe a few dollars at a time. Um, this was like the big jackpot. Anyway, I just kind of rambled on, I guess, but, uh, this, this kind of stuff, you, you come across it here at the cemetery, you know, where you're in certain spots and have these effects. Is there something more, um, simple going on i mean could you just walk into that area where everyone else was feeling that magnetic field and going funky uh was it doing something to his physiology to make him see that visionary thing i don't know but that's his story he's sticking to it um his other his other notes of you know his glowing eyes in the photos and that i total rational explanation for that i think yeah so there was that picture um i didn't mention it uh when i was reading his story but you know, he's got the general one that his friend had taken of him. But when they zoomed in, or his, his father, I forget how it went. They have to read it. But he zooms in and he sees his eyes glowing. And, 
you know, from that distance with the with the camera flash. Um, you know, I've seen that before. So I, I he thinks it was something paranormal. I don't. Uh, but I think the idea that you're going through this physical electro electrical process, something that's very unusual, doesn't sound like he gave it much thought beforehand. And, you know, he's not like, you know, tricking himself into feeling something. And then he happens to be standing in an area that seems to be showing a pattern of uh, different physical effects on people. Until next time.